Hi guys and welcome to our drawing and coloring workshop. Try and guess what I'm drawing here? This magic creature will grow a beautiful mane in quite a bit. But for now, let's draw a little eye so that it could see us. Here goes a cute little ear and a rather long and strong neck. Does it look like a horse, huh? We will add this decor piece just to make this creature happier. Uh-huh. And now check this out. One, two, three, and a magic horn. I'm sure you've guessed what we're drawing here right away. Unicorns are my favorite fairy tale creatures. They are so beautiful. Oh, look! This little guy is winking at you. <laughs> he likes what we're drawing here. Did you know that unicorns can run really fast? That's because of their strong legs. Here's a couple of them. Now let's draw the front legs. Don't forget about the hooves. Hop and hop. Unicorns don't usually go too far from rainbows. Ours will have one right on the background. Now that this drawing is almost complete, we need to make the lines more visible. Just take a wide marker and outline everything that you've drawn. Wow, that's a real magic! <laughs> I guess our unicorn wants us to start with the purple color. <laughs> well, I don't mind at all. I love purple. Do you? It's important to stay in between the lines, so paint carefully. So this part is almost done. Why don't we make this one purple as well? This will look beautiful. A few more touches. And the next color is… What do you think? What do you think? Whoosh! Cyan! Oh, it really reminds me of the most wonderful things there are. Like the sky and the water in the ocean. It just feels like summer to me. Let's paint this part of the main cyan as well. It really looks good being next to purple, right? But we need one more color here. What's it gonna be? <gasps> Bright pink! Of course! Unicorns adore this color, I know! Do you like it? What color is your favorite? Hmm, I agree! I like it too! Ooh, we've got a heart spot here! I'm gonna do my best to make it colorful! Well, Mr. Unicorn, would you conjure the next color, please? Wow, it's yellow! It reminds me of a sour lemon. <laughs> or a sweet lemon cake. Let this neck piece be yellow as well. Or should I rather say gold? Once, I had a pendant in the shape of a unicorn's head. I knew that it could bring good luck to me and make my wishes come true. Let's see if the unicorns can still do that for me. I wish the prettiest color to be next. Hey, it worked! <laughs> Usually people draw unicorns white, but I want this one to be extraordinary. This color that is called magenta will do that trick. Be careful around the eye. Oh, that's right. Close it for a bit, Mr. Unicorn. <laughs> what a smart creature you are. I always wanted to meet a real unicorn when I was a little girl. Now it feels like a dream come true. <laughs> Just a few more touches and the neck will be finished. I like how it's turning out so far. And we're moving on to the unicorn's body. Even though this part of our picture is quite big, I prefer not to switch my paintbrush to a wider one. It is just more comfortable for me. And this way, I make more or less even strokes all the way around this painting. Here goes one more leg. You know, even though there are some rules in painting and coloring, still the most important one is to have fun during the process. The 
The next color is brown! For the hoops, of course! <laughs> We'll make them bright and our beautiful unicorn will be able to run as fast as the wind! <laughs> I'm sure this unicorn could outrun any ordinary horse in the world! Do you agree with me, guys? Hmm, I wonder if riding a unicorn is the same as horseback riding? I guess we'll never know, huh? Is it just me or is the paint about to change its color? Purple it is! <laughs> we nearly forgot about our unicorn's tail! It should be no less beautiful than its mane! So why don't we make the center of it… Whoosh! Orange! What do you say? I really like how orange matches with purple! Such a bright palette! Now that our unicorn is perfectly colorful, it's time for us to deal with the background! And this time, I'm going to work with markers. Firstly, because this way the unicorn will show up better. And secondly, I love coloring with markers! <laughs> there is one important thing, though. You should make all of the strokes in the same direction. See? This way the picture will be more beautiful. Okay, next we'll take… The light green marker! Guys, do you know the proper order of the colors of the rainbow? I'm sure you do! That's why you might have noticed… That I've decided not to follow it this time! I want to create my own rainbow and so could you! Just get creative and set your imagination free! After the grass green comes golden yellow! Just check out how differently the unicorn begins to look on a bright background, right? I'm gonna use orange next. It reminds me of both sunrise and sunset, the two spectacular things I enjoy watching. I'm sure you like them too, guys. Now comes this part of the rainbow. And we're at the finish line. Just a few more strokes here and there. And here comes the last color for today. It kind of looks like a tasty berry. Mmm. Here we go! Hey, look at that! Our Mr. Unicorn even closed his eye imagining the berry I was talking about! <laughs> or maybe he's fallen asleep? In that case, have the sweetest dreams, little magic creature! See you in our next episode, guys! Bye-bye! Sammy, 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 just check out what I've got! Wow, wow, let's see, show me! I love new things! You'll definitely appreciate this amazingly beautiful hoodie! <laughs> huh? Sue, are you kidding me? You already have hoodies! Like, a bunch of them, look! Oh, uh, well, this one matches my jeans perfectly! Uh-huh, yeah, and this one reminds you of the summer sun, huh? <laughs> ah, holy cannoli! Oh, sure, why not? Actually, I already figured out why I need this one. It'll reflect everything you and I love. Let's just improve it. Uh, if you say so, uh, leave me alone already! Hi, guys. Just check out what I have here. <laughs> Looks like Moss enjoyed this piece of fabric. <laughs> oh, Sammy, this is cross-stitch canvas. It's supposed to be with holes. We're gonna use it to customize my new hoodie in a punch needle technique. Huh? I thought it's supposed to be for making carpets. So you wanna wear a rug or something? <laughs> of course not. Oh, how only you came up with this? We'll simply embroider a fleecy pattern that feels like a rug. Oh, awesome! Quick, give us a thumbs up, those who like things that are pleasant to the touch! Now, Moose Susie, I'll help you with the sketch! <laughs> we both love to draw and this should definitely be reflected right here! Hmm, we both love something else, or rather, someone else. <laughs> huh? Hey, are you writing my name? And this is almost the most important thing in our sketch. <laughs> Whoa, I'm so pleased! Guys, remember that you can portray anything you want, whether it's your favorite sweets, cartoon characters, or just funny doodles.
Well, here's what we've got. I guess this will be enough for a hoodie. Ouch! Sammy, what are you doing? Well, it's not very clear what's where when it's not colored. I won't argue with that. But first of all, we need to fix the canvas in the embroidery hoop. Let's start working at this spot. Uh-huh. Don't forget to make our working area firm enough. Guys, you can ask an adult to help you at this stage. And then they can also fix the canvas tightly in the hoop for you. Like this. Yeah, we see that too. What's next? The most interesting uh -huh. part. Let's take a special set of tools. This is the needle. And with the help of such a special wire, we'll thread yarn into it. And then put everything into the main part of the tool. This way you can adjust the height of the needle. The size of the loops will depend on this. Oh, it'll be a pleasure to pierce such an elastic canvas. Wait a minute. <laughs> this is to get the hang of it. Why, thank you. You're welcome. We'll thread the yarn into a tricky tool like this. Don't hesitate to ask for help here. And now, I'll show you the embroidery process. We'll work from the back side of the canvas. Just pierce and hop. And carefully pull out. And one more time. Hop. It's very important to leave some slack on the yarn. Otherwise, this'll happen. <gasps> Shivery cheddar, Sue! What did you do? <laughs> that was just the demonstration, huh? Sue. Now we're starting to work for real. Oh, hail Tibidaba! Interesting. What is she looking for back there? Ah, there you are, little thing. Sue, did you forget during the break that we're working with another needle today? Don't worry, Sammy. I just want to make the outlines with this one. I think this way it'll be easier and faster. Just look out for your fingers, guys. Mm, we perfectly know how to make regular stitches. So give me that. Let's skip to the results. Voila! <laughs> oh, great job, Sammy. Thank you. Now we can paint over this outline with pink yarn. I've made the needle shorter this time because we don't need two long loops. Guys, look how easy the needle goes in and comes out. Hop. Let's see what we have from this side. All our loops are exactly half a centimeter long. The openings in the canvas perfectly help navigate the size. And one. And two. <laughs> one thousand eight. One thousand nine. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this was the last one. You can breathe out. <laughs> Let's see. And thus the first element of our sketch is completed. Hey, it's not done yet. Do you think I'm so flat? Come on, move. Oh, wow! The white color really works wonders! I always knew that! <laughs> wow! This heart looks like I'm encouraging everyone to subscribe to our channel! <laughs> uh-huh! Or you run away from this guy and scream, Save me! Help me! He'll eat me! <laughs> Prankster Susan, that orange fowl is not scary at all. He's even cute. He looks like a creature that will live on a rainbow. <laughs> on the one like this? No, I will live on this rainbow. <laughs> okay, what's next? Guys, can you help me choose? How about this, um, Nutella jar? Oh, Nutella, my precious. Oh, looks like I'm hungry. Hey, leave me some. What? And maybe you'll get some. Ah, <laughs> uh, Sue, I'm sorry, but I couldn't wait any longer and I ate everything. Oh, Sammy, Sammy, it's good that I hid one in the tele jar. What? <laughs> A whole jar? <laughs> You're incorrigible. By the way, guys, does this character look familiar to you? Hmm? Well then, how about now? Hey, that's Gary from SpongeBob Animated Series. We've just binge watched them. And you're wearing square pants like SpongeBob does, aren't you? Huh? <laughs> what are you talking about? Sometimes I don't understand you at all, Susan. 
<laughs> That's right, you look more like a Patrick with all your clumsiness. And it's done! Well guys, let's see what the front side of our embroidery looks like. Wow! How bright this is! And so soft to the touch! Why don't we admire it later, Susan? We still have a lot to do! Ow! Oh, I fell again! It's slippery here! We have a lot to do? I didn't see you embroidering anything today. Well, that's because I'm in charge! It's both very responsible and… Uh, exhausting. <laughs> So I'll take a nap here on the soft spot and hey, you can do your working. Oh, those slimes, they always imagine themselves bosses. I used it all to huh? embroider this amazing pattern. Cool, isn't it? We only have a few things left to do. We'll come back with more yarn in a sec. Oh, this is just awesome! Uh, should we maybe... Uh, no. Definitely a blue shark with a red mouth. Are you sure about the color scheme? I don't want to redo anything, you know. Well, you said that it's very easy to undo the loop. <laughs> Simmy, no! Stop that! Simmy, I'm warning you! Oh, come on, Sue! You're no fun at all! That is not very gentlemanlike of you to let a lady work while you are having fun! What are you talking about, Susan? I'm always ready to help a damsel in distress! Give up, you treacherous shark! Ah! Oh, my God. That was unexpected! But the shark turned out just great! Am I right, guys? Give us a thumbs up! <laughs> and it has sharp teeth! Arr. See, Sammy? I can have fun, too! Here, Susie! I brought you an assistant! It looks like you're really tired! And Spider-Man was your best choice? Well, of course! If it spins the web, he can employ just fine! <laughs> Mm, well, let's try. Any help won't hurt. Go for it, Spidey. <laughs> what? So fast? Oh, by the mozzarella, Sammy, he did great! Maybe with skills like that, he'll help me with this flower. Sorry, Sue, but real superheroes have super important things to do. Oh, and only a pink paddle will remind me of my Sam. <laughs> And the last little detail. And we're done! Now we need to carefully cut out our pattern along the outline. Oh, just don't get too close to the stitches or the whole job will go down the drain. That's right! And we also need a small gap so that we can sew the canvas to the hoodie. By the way, absolutely any piece of clothing can be decorated this way. So, I think it looks great! Oh, and I already forgot that we originally wanted to decorate this! <laughs> <laughs> Guys, now we'll work with the most ordinary thread. That's pretty easy. Hey, adults, feel free to join your kids at this step. Okay, let's give you a few more seconds to finish. And then we'll check out what we've got. Hey, you can go and don't push me, Sue. Ahem. So, please pay attention, everybody. 
Ladies and gentlemen, uh, and superheroes, <laughs> Sue can wait to show you a unique, personalized, mind-blowing hoodie! Ew, that was a labor-intensive crap we made today! Did you like it, guys? Then give us a thumbs up and don't forget to… Huh? Oh, what? What's the matter, Sammy? Well, I've been thinking too! Let's make patterns like that in all plain hoodies! This is a great idea! <laughs> You're already familiar with the technique, so go ahead! And I will have a rest! <laughs> Today we present to you some unique rings! Don't miss your chance! Madam! Oh, Mademoiselle! Please have a look! Uh, oh, come on! Uh, check them out! Hmm, okay. Today's a great day to buy some new jewelry. Hmm. And you found the best place for it! I've got everything you need! Just have a closer look! Really? Let's see… Oh, what a choice! So many things! Look at this ring! It's just perfect! Which one? This? Yep! Oh, beautiful! And it perfectly matches your look! Wow, you're right! But what should I do with the others? Try this one as well! And that one! And those three! And don't forget about the others! Oh, these rings are amazing! And they look awesome together! That's right! Guys, do you want to make some rings for yourself? It's easy! Just follow us! Hi, guys! Today we'll create some rings! I really love jewelry! Do you? So what are you waiting for? Here's everything you need! I don't know what to start with! Do you have any ideas? Hmm, I like pandas! They're so cute! I'll show you now! <laughs> Look! Should we make a panda-style ring? Oh, great idea! I love pandas too! But first, let's make the ring base! And then to decorate it, we'll transform the ring into a cute panda! Oh, then I'll be the reference! A paint! A, I mean, mold a panda! Well then, freeze! <laughs> freeze? I'm an active slime! I can't do that! Well, I'm almost done with the ring and ready to decorate it! What? You're done so fast! Wanna try it on? Oh, no thanks! <laughs> I don't like to wear unfinished jewelry! It's bad taste! To make a ring look more like a real panda, let's make a cute muzzle! a lot of rings today. Put it here so we don't lose anything. Why, thank you. After all, we'll have to bake everything. So what are we making next? Let's make a frog ring now. It's gonna be fun. Are you a mind reader? I already prepared a green vase. <laughs> Let's get to it or it'll jump away. Our froggy needs just two big green eyes. We'll also add a smile. He's gonna be so cheerful, just like me. I can be his happy idol! Awesome! But I guess two rings are not enough, right? Of course! Do you have any ideas what we can turn this into? Hmm, what do we have here? All right, pink! I could have guessed that! I think it's a perfect base for a piggy! What do you say? I don't know! I'm cooking! Can't you see that I'm really busy? Uh, huh? Okay, I see, but be careful not to damage anything! Okay, Sue! So... Here's one more ingredient huh? for you! <gasps> Do you have anything else? Yep. Check this out. Whoa, I have to study that closely. This ring looks like chocolate. Maybe I should taste it. Uh, no, no, no. Huh? But why not, Susan? Don't you know that the clay is inedible? Look, I made one more ring. That's my present to you, Sue. Aw, thank you. You're really helpful today. And I also brought a bigger plate. <laughs> Now, Sammy, let's make a snake. Okay, okay, but be careful. I'll hook it and get to it. Hey, what are you doing? I know how to speed it up. We'll catch it like a fish. I've got a rod. 
<laughs> what do we have here? There you go. <laughs> uh, what? What is this? It's not fair, Susan. <laughs> I'm joking. It took me so long to make this rod. Okay. Oh, come on, Sammy. Don't be so angry. We know you're very kind. Okay, you can use my kindness. Here, I made a ring you wanted. Whoa, it's so cute. We're getting a nice set of rings for any occasion. But it's not enough. We have to make more. Guys, don't you go anywhere. Welcome back, guys. I was just thinking about St. Valentine's Day. Oh, I like Valentine's Day. I'd give a hundred of thumbs up to it. What are you up to, Sue? Ah, oh, what a beautiful heart. Let's see if it looks better than this one. Hey, be careful, Sam. Don't break it. I guess one thin circle won't hold his heart. Hmm, let's make it double. We don't wear rings like that too often, but this one is coming out wonderful. By the way, I've made you a Valentine's card for the last year and this year and maybe the next one too. Oh, Sam, I love it. <gasps> and you keep helping me with the rings? Two are better than one, but let's proceed. I have these colorful pieces of clay. I can make a pretty weaving from them. Oh, I want to participate in that too. But now my head is spinning. <laughs> Keep swinging. Maybe this way we'll finish much faster. I have some tricks up my sleeve. Oh, does it mean you'll prepare all the elements? Sure. I'm totally in. <laughs> Your task is to assemble them together. And we'll finally get a cool set of rings for every day. I just realized something. We're like yin and yang. A perfect balance. We match each other the best. It's like we're meant to be partners in crafts. Now that's a great thought. Let's make a ring like this too. Sue, but why do you need it? Well, I'll wear it when I want to feel the inner balance. <laughs> huh, then we need something else. You have to secure it on the shackle. <laughs> Otherwise, how are you gonna wear it? On your forehead? Hmm, cool idea. I'll fix it and put it on your forehead. Oh, come on. I won't wear our rings on my forehead. Never! Try it on. Ah, no, no. <laughs> Finally, see. oh, you're such a scaredy cat. Don't worry, the rings are not yet ready anyway. Of course they're not. We need to make more to complete hmm, the set. I have an idea. Uh, hey, simplicity is the key. I want to make a mini rainbow, like after a mini rain. Well then, what's stopping you? You can make whatever you want. Aw, thanks for the support. You're so <laughs> sweet. I hope you can add some magic to our rings. But first, let's make some more of them. Stay tuned. All right, Sue. I thought that we should probably make some special ring. Uh, Sue, where are you? Hmm, maybe we should make some kind of a symbol. What do you say? I am pretty sure that I know what you're talking about. Hold on a second. Oh, I can't wait to see what's his idea. Sammy, where are you? Well, well, who? Is so impatient here. I chose several symbols. Which one do you like? Hmm, this one. Ah, great choice. Sometimes you surprise me with your speed. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> By the way, I decided to clean up and find something. What did you find? Oh, I'll show you this. You have some of these pieces left. Oh, well, of course. That's because I wanted to make another ring. Watch this. Uh, Sue, we've made so many clay rings. Maybe that's enough already. Be patient, Sammy. I just want to make a few more. More? I wonder what those are gonna be. I'm gonna scare Sue now. <laughs> It'll be so much fun. I will scare you so you do everything that I say. <laughs> oh, I can also scare you. Yeah! Oh, okay, okay, that was a joke. Let's just make a snake ring. They're so beautiful and graceful, just like me. Beauty and grace is about me. Did you forget about that? Oh, how could I, Sammy? And now it's time to bake our rings. Yep, hurry up. We spend so much time making them. Uh-uh, no rushing here. Our rings have to bake long enough to become durable. Long enough, huh? And how long is that? Oh, is it the timer? Mm, cookies. Mm. I mean rings. <laughs> we have to cool them down before you can wear them. Oh, come on. Oh, so hot. 
Oh, you were right. See, I told you, but our snake looks kind of pale. Hmm, let's paint it. I chose the color. Sam, can you wait a little longer? Me? Wait while you'll be painting? Never. Hmm, but actually, huh, you can do that yourself. <laughs> okay, here we go. It came out great. Just one touch left. And I know what it is. We have to add some Laker to our rings. All of them. It's quite tiring, though. You want to help? You have super slime speed after all. Hmm? Ah, you can do anything without me. Of course I'll help. Or it'll take you forever. Now everything's finally done. Right, Sue? Yes, it is. Awesome. We can check out our wonderful set of rings in all its glory. Treasure, mine and only mine. Hey, Sue, you forgot something. That mine. Oh, you want to discuss huh? it? Discuss it? I'd better show you a magic trick. A trick? <laughs> that was close. So what is it? Huh? Look closely. Bibbidi, bobbidi, boom! Huh? It's empty! Where did all my rings go? Spit it out! <laughs> I've changed my mind. I won't give you anything. I'll go show them to Roger. <laughs> did you see? 